Okay, y'all come anytime. Would yes, you, yeah, anytime. Anytime. Come and rescue me sometime. I'll ride with you. Would you like a rose? Can a rose save a life? Yeah. For domestic violence. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody? I mean, if you need a place to go. Even if the person doesn't have their ID. Every Friday night, they drive the streets, offering the women for sale in our city a flower, free of charge, and a way out. Oh yeah. my God, I need to take care of my business and get myself together. With the Rose is a hotline number and a promise that if they call, someone will pick them up day or night. The Out of Darkness program has rescued more than 500 women from forced prostitution in the past nine years. While some of them do go back, 60% of the women move on to a meaningful life outside of sex trafficking. That's double the national average for programs that do the same thing across the country. So many of these women are used to being denied or rejected for one reason or another. So if they're pregnant, if they have mental health issues, if they're on medication, if they have a felony record, none of that matters to us. Director Jeff Shaw says their success comes from taking the women as they are in understanding the scope of the problem in Atlanta. A lot of people, when they think about sex trafficking, think about Cambodia, Thailand, places that don't have rule of law, right? But in reality, Atlanta is a hub for sex trafficking and sexual exploitation. The FBI reports the average age of girls forced into prostitution in the United States is 11 to 14 years old. The group sees the same women most Friday nights. Some are too scared to talk to them at first. Others save a pile of cards to the hotline week after week, building up the courage to escape. Rescue me though, because that man is a maniac. The volunteers, mostly from the Atlanta Dream Center that founded the program, are trained to talk to the women and pray for them, but they never force them to leave. It is hard to walk away because I, I want to beg them to come. Tiffany Rogers helps lead one of the groups and has talked to hundreds of women on the streets every Friday night. Through the pain and the heartache, she sees hope. When we started talking to her, she started tearing up and just like that just shows me that, that maybe she's open and vulnerable. Whether the women leave with her in the van that night or never accept a rose, she just wants them to know that they are loved. A day comes where you need something and you need some help, call that number.